Shalom family. Welcome back to Soul Food. Today we will be reading Exodus chapter 34. And as always, it is my pleasure to pray for each and every one of you that Yahusha, our Adonai's example, continue to be our guide and that the Ruach HaKodesh put his words in our mouths and in our hearts that we honor his word with our actions to give glory unto him this day and always. With that, here we go. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Hew thee two tables of stone, like unto the first, and I will write upon these tables the words that were in the first tables which thou breakest. And be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai, and present thyself there to me in the top of the mount. And no man shall come up with thee, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount, neither let the flocks nor herds feed before that mount. And he hewed two tables of stone, like unto the first. And Moshe rose up early in the morning, and went up unto Mount Sinai, as Yah had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tables of stone. And Yahusha descended in the cloud, and stood with him there, and proclaimed the name of Yahuwah. And Yahusha passed by before him and proclaimed, Alua, the Alua Yahuwah, merciful and gracious, long suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. And Moshe made haste and bowed his head toward the earth and worshiped. And he said, if now I have found grace in thy sight. O Alua, let my Adonai, I pray thee, go among us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for thine inheritance. And he said, Behold, I make a covenant before all thy people, I will do marvels such as have not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation, and all the people among which thou art shall see the work of Alua, for it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. Observe thou that which I command thee this day, behold, I drive out before thee the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite. Take heed to thyself, lest thou make covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images and cut down their groves for thou shalt worship no other god for Alua whose name is jealous is a jealous Alua lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land and they go a whoring after their gods and do sacrifice unto their gods and one call thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. And thou take of their daughters unto thy sons, 
and their daughters go a whoring after their gods, and make thy sons go a whoring after their gods. Thou shalt make thee no molten gods. The feast of unleavened bread shalt thou keep. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, as I commanded thee in the time of the month Abib. For in the month Abib thou camest out from Egypt, and all that openeth the matrix is mine, and every firstling among thy cattle, whether ox or sheep, that is male. But the firstlings of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb, and if thou redeem him not, then shalt thou break his neck. All the firstborn of thy sons thou shalt redeem, and none shall appear before me empty. Six days thou shalt work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest. In erring time and in harvest thou shalt rest. And thou shalt observe the feast of weeks of the first fruits of the wheat harvest, and the feast of ingathering at the year's end. Thrice in the year shall all your men children appear before Yahuwah Alua, the Alua of Israel. For I will cast out the nations before thee, and enlarge thy borders. Neither shall any man desire thy land when thou shalt go up to appear before Yahuwah, thy Alua, thrice in the year. Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leaven, neither shall the sacrifice of the feast of the Passover be left unto the morning. The first of the first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring unto the house of Yahuwah, thy Alua. Thou shalt not seethe a kid in his mother's milk. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Write thou these words, for after the tenor of these words, I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. And he was there with Yahuwah forty days and forty nights. Neither did he eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. And it came to pass, when Moshe came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moshe's hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moshe wist not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. And when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moshe, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. And Moshe called unto them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned unto him. And Moshe talked with them. And afterward all the children of Israel came nigh, and he gave them in commandment all that Yah had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. Until Moshe had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. But when Moshe went in before Yahuwah to speak with him, he took the veil off until he came out. And he came out and spake unto the children of Israel that which he was commanded and the children of Israel saw the face of Moshe, that the skin of Moshe's face shone, and Moshe put the veil upon his face again, until he went in to speak with him.